And why Gopi Gita is important? Because step by step we have to grow. <coughs> If we are not in Gopi Bhav, then still in Sadaka Bhav, body and false ego Bhav. So you like to be in false ego? No. I'm good. Everybody says, if you are signed, contact with Krishna. Krishna, a sign was. We are not ready to agree that Krishna is the highest. This is our problem. Yes. My mind is always going there because it's still doubtful. Yes. Easy to go outside. Always doubt. Doubtful. I don't believe. Because I have no love, I know from the books. I have no relation, loving relation. What? What the Baba is telling, I have. I need loving relation. That relation has to grow. Then we don't need to know. Why am I not going here and there? <laughs> so we are sitting in one place in preparatory school. We don't want to go to the next step. <clears throat> The Bhagavad Gita is in front of us. Then it will be clear understanding will come. What is the meaning in Bhagavad Gita? What Bhagavad Gita and why how Prabhupada is telling behind meaning and where is the hidden thing is hiding? Page four, he write twenty-two times. <laughs> intimate relation. <clears throat> What means intimate relation in material world? We have to develop. Mm. How we think? When we have intimate relation, then you want to know something more. Nothing. <laughs> I will think if you have intimate relation, I say I write one book for the class. <laughs> Can you want to read that? <laughs> no need, no need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you will read the book and say this book is missing something. Yeah, we have already direct connection, Guru Dev. So, so why if you have no direct connection, so doubts will never go. Yeah. It's beyond the good or bad. Relation is relation. Intimacy is intimacy. Yeah. Yeah. No change. Direct connection, good day. This is the meaning of listening Gopi Gita, right? This is the meaning to see how the gopis are looking <coughs> to Krishna. Ah. How the manjari is looking to Krishna. Manjari is looking to Krishna. No, gopis are looking to Krishna. <laughs> So soul can see the Krishna, super soul. 
then desire will come to become my reality. No, 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 I want to serve Radha. Why serving Radha? Because she, without love he is not accepted. When you have a relation, you want understand the value of love. Then you want to be always in center of love. Why? Because love is the goal. For Krishna, he has become subject to be always in loving. So he is teaching me how to be always in loving. So he is teaching because he loves me how to practice. Mm -hmm. Is this the Gauranga Mahaprabhu? He teaches me how to love Radhika. How to love his lover, Radhika's lover. When I will stay with Radhika, then you will understand. Mm -hmm. Who will teach? Devotion, Krishna has to do devotion, or we have to do devotion. Me. Why not Krishna will be a devotee? Or he will teach how to be a devotee. He's a enjoyer. So we become enjoyer, not devotee. Devotion will learn by Radhika. We cannot run with Krishna. And the devotee of Radhika, who can teach, only Manjari can teach. Devotee of Radhika means Dasi. Yes. If I have no devotion for Radhika, how I am following her? I want to be med servant, I don't want to be friend. That is the meaning of med servant. Why you say after one week that I want to be a med servant, not ma, not son? Who thinks that tell you? Different taste. Less taste. Right. <laughs> 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 Can I come in? Yeah. Yeah, Gopi Gita. Gopi Gita is a beautiful story. <clears throat> but it's a story of sadness. It's when Krishna leaves the gopis. So the gopis sign with Krishna to establish soul consciousness. They have endless love towards him, but then he disappears and they don't understand. The whole song is about how they don't understand why he left them, why he doesn't love them back. And it's the level of Manjari Bhav that Narada Mohan loves back. There's a two way. So it's the first step, Gopi Bhav. Gopi Gita tells the first step, and it's on the way to the next step. And Gopi Gita means you become practically there. That's Sadagraha, physical body. You come out from that to Prakriti there, mm. his spiritual body. That his gopis are telling how to be in his spiritual body. Ah, understand. Yes, I can see. If not, then whole life we die with material body consciousness and ego consciousness. <coughs> Mm. 
ego cause of things. We cannot live false ego. I want to be a doer. <laughs> Sadak Deha is a doer. Consciousness. Gopis are greedy for Krishna. So Prabhupada said, when you are greedy and assign Krishna, then you go to ultimate goal. Uh, something more higher than this. Ultimate goal means higher than that. Yes. Uh, Something more higher than Krishna? Yes, that is higher. That to understand. Mm. Prabhupada, you believe in Prabhupada, then you have to understand this. <laughs> if you have no faith in Prabhupada, you will never understand. I, I surprised, why not? They explain about that. Huh? Mm. I surprised, why not they explain about Sarup and Sarup Siddhi? Then we can fuse to tell the news like this, like yeah. this and then we finish. Mm. We yeah. die, not touch the news. I surprised. This is out of Vrindavan and in Vrindavan, you can understand. Mm. Out of Vrindavan, only Krishna, 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 Krishna. They will say and they will not say. Mm. <coughs> yeah, without Radha we cannot understand and Radha is always in Vrindavan. Radha never lives in Vrindavan. You will never understand without coming in with Yes. Mm -hmm. ah. Thank you very much. Kill you? Yeah, yes. start sit down if you are. This is the basic thing. First, first, you can the first step. <coughs> and I know a step in first step. Mm. You check where you are living, mm. only to decorate this ego mm. in material body, mm. and you decorate the false ego and sense desire. Mm. That is my goal. Because I exist in material body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to enjoy the senses. <laughs> <laughs> Funny senses. Mm. This is final goal of me. And it's never ending. Yes, for the cheap seats. Yes. The back row. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> with with Guru's blessings. <laughs> Gopi Gita, which we will start singing in the temple now, is a story of uh, sadness. It's the Gopis singing when Krishna leaves. They have attached to him. They have attached to him. As Gurudev says, they have signed with him and recognize their soul consciousness. 
the first step in our path as, as devotees, realizing we have a soul. This is what Gopi Bhav is. So by establishing a relationship with Kesha, <coughs> the Gopis establish that they have a soul consciousness. But they have not yet understood it's a loving soul consciousness that, that, that it will bring love back to them. So Krishna is enjoying their love, but then he abandons them, does not give love back. This comes in the next step, when the Radha Mohan gives love back. And then we have Manjari Bhav. So Gopi Bhav is soul consciousness, I have a soul. Manjari Bhav is I have a loving soul. My soul is loving, is love. So the first step is Gopi Bhav. And the second step is Manjari Bhav. And this song is about that first step. Mm. So the Gopis have also a loving soul. They are in pure love to Krishna. But it's a one-way love, yes. Only the one-way love. Yes. Because Krishna has not yet appeared as uh, Radha Krishna. Has not realized the experience of being a lover himself. This comes in the next step. In our, in our consciousness, in our minds. We've not understood Krishna as Krishna, Radha Krishna, yet. So Guru Dev asks us to read this so that we understand this first step. It's a, it's, it's a love and separation of the copies. Lamenting that Krishna has not loved them back, has not loved them enough to stay, and they're confused, and they're remembering all the beautiful things about him and what he's done. And it's an amazingly beautiful song. I started to read this, and then I stopped because I thought, oh, it breaks me away from Swamini, from Adarani. Mm. When I read this, well, it's the foundation, it's the first step. Maybe you've already passed this first step. But it's a good reminder for us all. So, just to bring us... To bring us back down to... To an even lower foundation uh, than that. Um, section about the nine processes of bhakti and we <clears throat> just to leave with this the last thought was about how to practice these nine types of devotion how how we has to practice these nine types of devotion starting with hearing and chanting nicely we will try to discuss a little on the basis of the sacred words of the Goswamis. For if the aspirant fails to serve, practice these items nicely, or he does not know how to practice them expertly, a big delay may arise in his attainment of prema as he progresses in his life of bhajan. So the key words here are pro pro progress, progresses. So this is a progression. This is foundation and gradually purifying so that we can reach these higher stages of, of praying, eventually. But also delay, no? There is a mention of delay. Of the what? Of delay. Yeah, well... If you don't practice sincerely, right? Well, he says, he uses two adverbs, how to practice. He uses one adverb, which is nicely, and then he uses another adverb, expertly. So, we could say nicely, means I think with love, right? Yeah. So this you know, that's very general. With love, yeah. You know, this nicely I would like to hear how would Dabaji is you know thinking. 
This is interesting. This,、yes. you know, nicely, very different meaning, you know.、Yeah. Different, we understand, you know. So, the very deep, actually. Yeah. So, w i t a b a j i could you make some comment? <laughs> do, do, do you understand this yesterday we are discussing? So, like, it means hearing chanting nicely. So, I'm, I try to ask with the Baji. Here, Baba mentioned starting with hearing and chanting nicely, we, try, we will try to discuss a little on the base of sacred words of Goswami's. So, if the aspect fails to serve practice, these items nicely, again, nicely. Or he does not know how to practice them expertly. A big delay may arise in his attainment of Prema as he progresses in his life of Bhajan. So, my question is this nicely how you could understand? This is a very interesting point. I wonder, I wonder what. Babaji said in Mangala nicely, but nicely means、um, humbly, simply, sincerely, honestly. And all these things imply that we take away as much as possible the false ego, that we meditate without. That part of the work of meditation is taking away our illusions about who we think we are. I am Uddhav. I am the philosopher. I live in room 202. <laughs> I like best the doll on Thursdays. <laughs> Take away all these things and try to find that place in our heart where we are most. Ourselves, and that's the place where we're most at peace. This is difficult. <laughs> But the secret of this passage and the two adverbs is that nicely is expertly.、Mm -hmm. Nicely is expertly.、Mm -hmm. So, expertly doesn't mean with a hundred years of study and The Shastras, but it means expertly being nicely. <laughs> <laughs> like experienced. Experienced enough to be nice. Yeah, experienced. Expert. Knowing that nice is, is everything. <laughs> nicely is the like, whole. Like a matching mood. Yeah. Mood also yeah. So, if we continue, then we hear what the Goswamis, that's the recommendation here, is how to do it. And also, I was thinking. The basis of the words of the Goswamis, it、yeah. was、uh, really, I think, the, you know, the essence of, of these processes.、Um, yeah, but so, like, you know, like precision, you know, like nicely, every syllable of every mantra. <laughs> so, we could have a kind of a technical approach to be very precise and that. If there's no love there, then you know, what's the point? So, you know, I, I think it's just with,、um, you know, we say with love, in other words, with sincerity, you mentioned sincerity, you know, being sincere, knowing our position, where, we're, where, where we are in our progress. If we're aspiring for some high position of praying and we imagine that we're already there, And we're not being sincere, right? So, this is causing delay. This will, if we're putting ourselves in a high position, imagining that we're in a high position, speculating about ourselves, then that's an artificial elevation will fall very, very quickly from that, from that artificially you know, projected height.、Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, long, so, is it how the item of hearing can be best practiced is described by Sri Jiva Goswami Pad. And there's a, a lengthy 
um, quote here. So we'll just skip that um, Sanskrit and jump to the English. This is from the Bhakti Sandarbha. Hearing means the audio reception of the sound vibrations concerning the Lord's holy names, forms, attributes, and pastimes. Of all topics to hear again, the best topic is Srimad Bhagavatam. For Srimad Bhagavat's words are most powerful and tasty. It is explained in the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam how each of its words are most powerful. And here's a quote. The great sage Shima Narayana, whose lotus feet are worshipped by the great saints, has revealed the Shima Bhagavata. In it are such powerful words that contain such a paramount relish that the Lord at once becomes captured in the heart of even a person who simply desires to hear it. So, <clears throat> powerful, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> powerful, because tasty, powerful because we can relish, so not powerful because the arguments are good, because they're logical, or because they have good references, but powerful because they make us feel, they make us, the, the, the feelings come alive in our, in our hearts. This is why they're strong, and this is why anyone can uh, relate to them, not because they're based on knowledge, but because they're based on ras, on juice, on juiciness was the word used. Yeah. Srimad Bhagavatam? Yeah. Yeah. Also, he says... There is so much from the Srimad Bhagavatam, which is just chapters it's and not chapters juicy, yes. <laughs> of explanation. Yes. <laughs> there's, there's, there's so much detail in the Bhagavatam, like the names and the... You know, the the, things, yeah, the, the universe. But, but within those names, there's, there's also taste. See? In those names, there's, there's, yeah. those are personalities. Yeah. Those, are, those are part and parcel of the Lord. So the Srimad Bhagavatam is all about the Lord in His different incarnations and His different pastimes. It's all relishable. But what's key here is that He says, the Lord at once becomes captured in the heart of a person, and what is the qualification? A person who desires to hear it. So if we have no hankering, if we have no desire, if we have no longing to hear, then it's not going to be effective. We have to have that desire in our heart to receive this knowledge. How that is really in our heart. Well, once we start on this path of transcending the gunas, giving up the false ego, concomitantly, to use a nice word here, we naturally develop this desire to hear something transcendental. In order to become transcendental, we have to associate with something transcendental. Right? If you, whatever you desire to become, you have to, Gandhi says, you know, be the change in the world, the change you want to be. Be the change that you want. So if we have the desire to change, to transcend, then we have to associate and come in contact with something transcendental. You see? I have, a, I have an additional answer to this very important question. 
Now it's seven o'clock in the morning. You got out of your bed in the cold, put on your clothes, put on your tilak, and you came here. You had desire in your heart. Everybody who's here, listening with an open ear and open heart, has desire. Maybe not a lot, maybe just the start of desire. But you're here, so you have the desire. Is there any other, is there any other kind of spiritual practice of, or, or hearing of a sacred book that promptly captures the Lord in the heart. Never. <coughs> Never. This shows the natural greatness of the words contained in Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavata is most succulent. Hence it is succulent. Succulent means full of juice, full of nectar. In this in this sense. Yeah. No, oh it make over juicy to us. This is by reading Rasika you become Rasik. So this book is so juicy that you understand you will be juicy. Understand. Or somebody rightly explain you, the juice will come inside us. Like a Bhagavad Gita is very juicy of Prabhupada. But if you understand that juice, if you see in jnana and vairagya and different, <coughs> not understand. It should be understand by the feeling of Prabhupada. Then is a juicy. When I read it alone, for me it was the drawer was closed and Udhava is explaining, then it becomes juicy for me. Because who much in the feeling of writer, they understand the juice and give the juice. Like Ananda's Baba book is also juicy. So higher juice. If I don't understand the basic thing, what is to start, then we don't find out that what we want. We want a jnana, vairagya, a juicy. You see, You want to listen, somebody say, about your son or not, asking to you. Yes. Yes. Somebody say about your sister, you will listen or not? Or your mother? Natural. Mm. What is this? Sambandha, this is relation. Mm. We have no relation with Krishna. <coughs> we don't want to listen. We feel pressure because no relation. We feel overburdened. Why to listen to him? Because I have no relation. I have a relation with my wife, my children. Why I will listen, bother to listen to him? He's a bothering to me for listening. <laughs> Right. Because it's pressure to me. Only I listen where is my relation and my love. Mm. Means I have no love, no relation there. Mm. Mm. Duty. I have a relation with my senses, body. Why I will listen? God or Lord or Krishna? Why? 
What is my business in that? My business to be an enjoyer. Funny life. I can listen about that. Where will be more fun for me? Mm. <laughs> I will do that job. Mm. Right? Right. So, Sravanam and Kirtanam, why I will think for you to talk about you, to remember your name, why? <coughs> I remember name of my beloved, my darling. Mm. Or not? Yeah. Automatic. <laughs> Automatic happening. So when this love is not there, it's all funny. Mm. No working. It's all false. <coughs> so, it's all Navadha Bhakti. We do every day. Who says not doing? But we do where well, I love. See all Navda Bhakti, remember, I don't remember, but watch the nine type of Bhakti. Oh, everyone is doing, but different place. Atma Samarpan is also doing. I offer myself to you, my son, my wife, my baby, my dolly. Atma Nivedan, this is Atma Nivedan. <laughs> but I am in right place over <laughs> Is it Krishna? No, 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 this is your family, but it's happening like this. So we do everything. Yes. That's yeah. I become a loyal servant where I love. I want to keep friendly to you. Sakya. <coughs> Dasya and Sakya. I don't want to break my friendly relation. Right? Yeah. We do everything. Yeah. But wrong place. <laughs> Not with you, Krishna, because I have no relation with you. Maybe next life I will develop relation, then I will think for you. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes. So good if for us very difficult to make the relation with Krishna when we are still in material consciousness, so... Material body consciousness. So Guru is there to, that we can practice this relationship and then he will become transparent. And if Guru is practicing material thing <laughs> and want to live in material place, then how he will teach? Right. Mm -hmm. Same. If I am this practicing, what you will learn? So Guru is not a Guru. Not a Guru. No. Sorry to say. <coughs> I am very honest with you. Right. <coughs> guru is your Easter Right. <coughs> it's all false that Guru is the Guru. He's a Maya Vas philosophy. Right. So, um, Guru is never goal. No. Guru, if you goal fix, then he can navigate you. Right. He can help you to goal fix if he has a goal fixed. 
If he has no gold fix, he will not show you gold fix. You don't know how he will fix you. <laughs> right. If I am in jail, how I will bring you out from jail? <laughs> <coughs> So, thing is this, spiritual means is spiritual, not material. If you want to be spiritual, then it's spiritual. If you want to be material, then it stays material. And do this practice, what we are doing. But not say that I am a devotee, I am a spiritual person. Then hypocrisy will happen. That is hypocrisy. We might go. Anyone who is satisfied with the nectar of Srimad Bhagavata, which is the essence of all Vedanta scriptures, will not have taste for any other book <coughs> or any other spiritual practice. You see, no taste will come. What is meaning of Bhagavata? <laughs> See? Personality of God. No, yeah. <laughs> Say what is the meaning of Bhagavad? <laughs> yeah, it's totally wrong. Is it the devotee? Bhakta. Bhakta. And Bhagavan is truly. Lord and devotees. There is all a story. How the devotee serve and what they are doing practice and what they get the result. This is the story. No person, you will never understand Bhagavad. Personality of God, what you have seen. See the bhaktas. How the, they took the king, they become king, and what they get it, what devotion and what they receive it. And what I want to practice. This is Bhagavat. Mm. Bhakta and Bhagavan story. The story of two. Devotee, devotee and the Lord. <coughs> Watch. <coughs> it's so beautiful a story. If you want to realize that, then you learn what to do, what I will do, then what I will get it. And anyhow, we have to die everyone. Everyone, the story comes up to death. When they die, even the king, who are, everyone has to die. Maximum story of the kings. And they also die. <laughs> they leave the home or they die. How they die? Up to death they explain. And how their death coming, that is also explained. <coughs> and this which type of devotion they want to do and how they what the result happened to him. This to understand is a Bhagavad. <coughs> so 
it's showing examples of which type of devotion one can practice. Yeah. <coughs> then, Gopi Gita is the heart of Bhagavatam. Heart of Bhagavatam. All is to the heart is Gopi Gita. Again, it can come. The Lord and His devotees to it. Who want to come out from the bodily consciousness to so conscious. <coughs> and what is Bhagavad Gita? What is Bhagavad Gita? The relationship between a devotee and the Lord. Yes. To know who I am and how to move with this consciousness is a Bhagavad Gita. One Krishna is so big a liar, so when he comes, he says, when the dharma is going down, I come in every place to restore the dharma. Right? In Bhagavad Gita. And one place he is telling, Sab dharma ni Die or not? And then he says, leave all dharma. <laughs> he, you come to fix the dharma. And you say, why to leave the dharma? Wow. My question. He's a liar. Mm-hmm. I say he's a liar. Prove <laughs> <laughs> wow. that he's no liar. He <laughs> said, when the dharma goes down, I come every time, take the birth, or I send someone to reset this dharma. Right or not? Right. Yes. Then why he says, Sarv dharma ni Leave all dharmas. Parantancham poshottam kulte. Prema. Give Jainam Dhamma an answer. This dharma is like a Varnashram dharma, still material. So give up all material dharma, and then spiritual becomes spiritual consciousness, soul consciousness. And then Guru Dev's interpretation <coughs> is spiritual consciousness, and then Ma Mekan, please come to my Ekam. That's only possible to Buraja. Explain this. Nobody will understand. Ma Meka means. Explain. <coughs> Ma Meka means. So if, if say, please surrender me, means we don't need to Eka. Ma Sharanam. Buraja. But why Krishna say Ma Eka? So please surrender to which oneness with me. This is Krishna indirectly say, this is my beloved, my lover. This is, we say, Krishna's internal potency, pleasure potency, giving potency, Sri Radha. This is Bhagavad Gita 10.10, 10, is the same thing. 
At first, go to Krishna. And then Krishna will send, no, I cannot teach love. Go to, go to my lover, my dearest person, which, who is oneness. Radha and Krishna is originally one, but they separate because due to the leader. So, Krishna will send the jiva to Srimati Radharani. And then, Braja means go, actually, in Sanskrit, but also means here, Brindava. Only Brindava we can learn Radha's love, highest love. I feel that is the meaning of this verse. to go to the Lord and Lord lover lotus feet to understand the Lord. Lover lotus feet. What I will know to him is Apollos. I cannot. Apollos only can, lover can see the sweetness of the eyes, smiling of the lips. Lovers knows this, who is mad. And when we will start looking, his smiling, his feelings, his understanding through her. One of the most loving, who is totally fixed with the Jaiva Dharma, fixed with him, then we can understand meaning of Jeva Dharma, meaning of Krishna, and the love and opulence of Krishna. Books can say to opulence of Krishna, very limited. <laughs> <laughs> if it's unlimited, how you can write in the books? <laughs> oh, we can only understand who is more higher than Krishna, they can explain us. And what is more higher than Krishna? Love of Krishna. Who love Krishna. So he said, if you come, you will not understand me. I'm a liar, I'm a cheater. I'm no one either. You will understand this only because you are <laughs> I had so much practice and my material identification. You have to go with the four Jaiva who is living in the Jiva consciousness <laughs> and he know his dharma. That is only most highest lover of me can teach you Jaya Dharma of Jiva, to feel it with the eyes of the lovers, most beautiful lover who loves Krishna most beautifully. They can show us the smile. And what is the meaning of this smile? That is the dasi of the lover. He you know the secret in between love and his lover. This is the reason of appearance of Chaitanya. Nothing. Uh, 
because whole life we waste searching for this and we are searching in wrong places. But it's not there, anything. <coughs> I have a full experience on this. <coughs> Eighty years I make it. Fifty years I make it here. Nobody can do madly like me. <laughs> I see Gurudev in thirty years. Then I understand where to move. Then I have moved twenty years in that way. Thirty years of manic, very crazy man. You cannot do what I do. <laughs> you were searching for the taste, the higher taste, the highest taste. When I find it, mm -hmm. and then I switch over it, 180 degrees degree in one day, one night, hmm. after initiation of the I was rather first. Mm. Not that I take time to change myself. It's so powerful. <coughs> it penetrates in my air, it goes and my life. Different time. This is the Kripa. I receive it. <laughs> I realize and I start, not that I will start after one month, two months. I start it in the same moment. Rath. That is His mercy. I not do anything. Yeah. 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 This is all included in this place. Behind meaning has to understand. <coughs> Go on. Here we must consider first of all that the hearing of the Lord's holy names forms, attributes, pastimes, is most auspicious. <coughs> of them, the narrations on the Lord <coughs> composed by saints are even more auspicious. And then, if these narrations that are composed by great saints Give a stool to him. Uh, are also sung and recited by great saints. Thank you. Then that is even more glorious. Again, even more auspicious than that is when the scripture, Srimad Bhagavata, is composed by the greatest saints, Sri Vyasa and Shuka, is sung by the great saints. Then again, if the holy names, attributes, and pastimes of Sri Hari that form Srimad Bhagavata are heard from the mouth of a like-minded, deeply realized saint. <clears throat> then that will provide the greatest relish. Yeah. Beyond that, again, although the pastimes of many of the Lord's avatars are narrated in Srimad Bhagavatam. The 
the hearing of Sri Krishna's holy names, attributes, and pastimes is most fortunate. For he is the original personality of Godhead and the embodiment of sweetness himself. Hmm. Hmm. End of quote of Jibu Goswami. From this teaching of Sri Jiva Goswami, we can conclude that hearing about Sri Krishna's holy names, attributes, and pastimes as they are described in Srimad Bhagavata from the mouth of a like-minded saint is very powerful and very tasty and will make the practitioner's devotional item of hearing very successful. Taking Srimad Bhagavat as the kernel, the Goswamis have composed so many books about Sri Krishna's pastimes. What piece, Karna? Kernel is a like a kernel of corn, like a piece, one small piece, like one grain kernel. Uh, a particle, also a seed. A seed, like a seed. Yeah, derives from kernel, Kern. like similar to German can. Right, yeah. Which means he. Hmm. And since we stopped, just a comment. Success. What does this word mean? It means, back to the question about desire, it means increasing spiritual desire. So once we've established that we have desire by being here and listening, then we'll be successful if we increase that spiritual desire. Mm. So I want to also comment, com and you know, so why Baba mentioned this like-mind saint? Mm -hmm. So why Baba mentioned this like-mind saint? So, please. A like mind saint is one who is also seeking juice, who is listening and speaking with relish and in rasa. So, does it just mean like minded devotee was on your same level? Or no, that is the question. He says here, deeply realized, <coughs> deeply realized saint. Like yeah, deeply realized. So that's a different level. But right. like minded means not. Give us the mic, please. Uh -huh. oh. So, just to say, maybe the quality of <laughs> the incidental quality <coughs> is there. So, we say that Krishna and the Jivatma are of the same quality, mm -hmm. but the quantity is different. So the degree of their realization, very pure realization, where we are on the beginning path of this realization, still we're on the path, so like-minded that we want to achieve self-realization, we want to achieve perfection. So in this sense, the quality is the same, we're both of the same goal, of the same quality, being like-minded, we want to achieve this 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 frame, but he is all but this deeply realized means he is well well more more advanced than we are on this path. So that the meaning is it's good to to hear it from someone who is realized. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Actually, my understanding is different. Uh -huh. and, uh, Why, Baba, say like mind? Uh, saint. That means the goal is the same. Same rasa. 
<laughs> like God said, if we hear Bhagavatam, someone who is Dasharasa, mm -hmm. then, and then someone want to have Braja Mudra Rasa, then we cannot feel taste. So therefore, if it is possible, same rasa, same goal, and also you, uh, Siddhanta Maharaj also say, someone who is very elevated. Mm. Because we say, we want to have, say, like a Braja Manjari Baba. Then we have to hear same rasa, same goal. Someone who has very elevated as Manjari Baba and no Bhagatam. Then Bhagatam taste is more more tasteful. But if rasa is different, then rasa is, you know, then we cannot taste. That's my feeling like this. Right. Mm. right. Taking Srimad, taking Srimad Bhagavat as the kernel, the Goswamis have composed so many books about Sri Krishna's pastimes, both from the angle of Ras and Siddhanta philosophy. And all these books are also known under the heading of Bhagavad. The pastimes of Sriman Mahaprabhu, who is the joint form of Radha Krishna, are described in scriptures like Sri Chaitanya Bhagavad and Sri Chit Chaitanya Charitamrita as well as this Prema Bhakti Chandrika and Pratana. And these books are similarly full of power and taste. So, from the angle of Ras and Siddhant, they're both similarly powerful. Hearing all these scriptures from the mouths of like-minded saints will swiftly cause unfavorable obstacles to nice devotional service to disappear. And the practitioner who has taste for hearing these topics will soon be blessed with the attainment of Prem. This is called good practice of the item of hearing. Also here it is again said, nice, uh, nice devotional service. Hmm in good practice as, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as before. Yeah. Mm. So therefore, very important to have a uh, Sajati Sangha, like-minded uh, association. Mm. Then for sure work. Mm -hmm. If not, then it takes long time. Long time. Yes. And if if the we want faster, we need sajati. It depends person to person. Yes. 
circumstances. Because if someone who is Sanchari, Sanchari Baba, not goal is, you know, sometimes this, sometimes, you know, today is this goal, next day Sanchari, huh? Explain ah. Sanchari. What is Sanchari? Sanchari is like a, like a moving. Uh -huh. Say, for example, okay, today we discuss Manjari Baba. Okay, tomorrow we discuss Saki Baba. Okay, next day we discuss, you know, like, Vassane uh, Rasa. You know, my Yashoda's feeling is very good. <coughs> so, and then this move, if we move like this, then we never fix our Baba. Then we cannot do fix our goal, then to approach goal is a very, very long time. This big delay, Baba mentioned. So, therefore, best thing is same mood, Sajati Sangha, and also someone who is fixed one Baba, one Thai Baba. If we could the same goal, same Baba. If we could hear from this person, this Rashika Vaishnava, then our success is very quick. That's good Devu. I think we want to say. Well, I do want to say. <laughs> <laughs> but it's right. If not, then take long time. Long time. So therefore, when against circumstance, today what chances is there? Tomorrow not going to happen. Anyway. Mm. Something can happen. Mm. Uddha will go, Jananda Maharaj will go. Vibration will not come. Then alone nobody can do anything. So, uh, yeah. Okay. No, please finish. One, <coughs> one Goswami. He was very <laughs> much bigger. <coughs> he said, you see the cow? When he give milk, when the baby go, and in the breast, he put his mouth like this. Then milk comes to the cow, and then he drinks. Mm -hmm. Similarly, if in the association some devotees are not near sitting to the speaker and asking the question, the inside juicy thing not come out. If I want, it will not go out. If you want, it will not flow. So it is all depends upon the circumstances, hmm. how the listeners are there. Hmm. Now, like you expect Shiva, what he will teach? Because his listener is all ghost Bhutas, hmm. what he will preach? Bhakti? All the follower of Shiva is ghost. So it depends upon the listener also. How you listener is there? Mm. Listener and his speaker, both is important. A speaker cannot say if the listeners are not catch, want to open him, it will not come out to the speaker. No. Mm. You watch. Mm. This is just what I was going to say, but Guru, Guru Dev said it much better. Oh, but uh, in our relation between devotees too, when we're like-minded, I speak to you and you say, yes, and my heart grows stronger, and you speak to me, and I say, hmm, I understand, and your heart grows stronger. This is how we grow in our yes. 
in our understanding of desires. It's more clear, you say. No. <laughs> <laughs> That we have to do. How to be stronger? Mm. How to strong in my faith, in my devotion? Gurudev, you said that it's important to have questions and to ask things. My experience is since I'm here, I came with questions, and sometimes I don't need to ask, you give the answer. <laughs> so I thought about, maybe I don't New need question to ask. will come. Before was different question, now different question. Mm. And one day, when the realization will start, then all answer automatic will come. Where before I was coming, different type of question because totally I was in conditioned body. <clears throat> now it will come a spiritual type of question, more pure question. And one day we have no question because <laughs> when the question comes, automatic answer is coming to me. It's more connectivity. You start faith, hope, hope with them confirmed in love, and that is love of them. They give answer also with the question. <coughs> question and answer both coming. <laughs> But in this stage when you start seeing uh, Krishna everywhere in, in this world? Love. Love stage. <laughs> the stage of the madness of love. Like you fall in love with some girl, always start looking everywhere to her. And how you want to hidingly think for her. And when you are sleeping, she come in your dream also, right? And you hide one from all family members. It's all love. And then you see everywhere without he knows nothing. And separation becomes so mad. When you are sitting in Danda bed, very comfortable bed, it it give you a lone suffering like you are sleeping in on on thorn, thorn, thorn. Oh, thorns thorns yeah, yeah. thorns thorns mm -hmm. <laughs> because so much pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. All those very comfortable bags. So that's it. We are missing you, loving you. I cannot live without you. I try to stop it, but I cannot. Right? So we are not foolish. We know these things, but we don't want to practice with, because you are so divine, it's very difficult for you. For me, lower person, to practice with you like that. Are he is Naravada, he is like you. He is like a human. He is not Supreme Personality of Godhead. He's like a human. He's like you. You do, he will react with you. 
but he will one time come and do everything with you. And if you want to live always with him, then you have to follow. Praise God. You listen to the name of praise <coughs> that you have to follow. Means you have to always live in the prema. Follow that kind. And then he is always <coughs> say that I am in class. Who is that? Punya. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, Punya. <laughs> 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Punya Baba. Rade. Rade, my dear. Rade. I'm now in the taxi. We just started now. My God. Why are you so late? Two hours. We are thinking yeah, that you will come. That... Huh? Yes. Why? I was, I, my flight was a bit late. I see. Okay. 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 But then you will come at, at 11, my dear. Yes. My God, too much suffering, two hours late. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Radhe Radhe. Radhe. Eat something on the way in uh, Sivadava. Sivadava. This is Radhe. This is Radhe. Yes. So he's talking about brain prayer. Mm. Always live in the... That is meaning of brain prayer. Mm -hmm. Prem is the prayojan of my life. Prayojan of my goal of my life. Mm. How it possible? Who has no love? He is foreigner in love. Krishna is the foreigner, he said. Mm. Prabhupada, right, wrong? Krishna is a foreigner to understand love. See Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrita. Adilila for Kanto. He is foreigner. Foreigner means I am outside in India when I go to America. I am a foreigner. New person. Mm. Beginner. <laughs> For beginner is also not there. No. Foreigner. 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 Alien. Not alien. 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 <laughs> alien. <laughs> Outsider. Yeah, Outsider. <clears throat> so without preparation, how I can be preparation? And Bhujse, English, English, Bhujse, oh! Show Bhujse, Baba. That's the thing. Adi Leila, four country. Bagla, Ache ki na? Ki Mutu na Ache ki na? Ache Mutu na. Ache Mutu na. Ache Mutu na. Ache Mutu na. Ache Bagla, Ache is English, Bola. Prabhupada, Apne Mansa Nik Dega, Kya? Prabhupada will never write anything without, if it's not in Bagla. I'm a booster party. Bangalore, Ache. So English, Likha. How he will write without, if he's not in Bangla? Impossible for Prabhupada. He's written in Bangla also. He's a foreigner to understand the love of Radhika. <coughs> He is a foreigner. For him is a new subject. How he will teach us Krishna? Krishna will teach love to me. Foolish. <laughs> Who practice to learn from Krishna? He will teach womanizing. He will teach to us to stealing. When he will go for stealing, 
or he bring his friends. What we will learn is dealing with him, womanizing with him, lying, lying, lying with him. All these things is coming from Krishna. <laughs> you know, womanizer. You know, happy with one woman. He goes dig, 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 dig. This is the man. <laughs> Why he has to do? Because he promised to do this. In Ramavata, fifteen thousand would manage. Sixteen thousand women are eh? gopis. So many, they are waiting for so long time. Vedas, Rishas, Puranas, Rishis, all they are waiting to associate with him. <laughs> he has to do it. He promised about something. He promised about something. He has to do it. According to your desire, you are, you are, you know, surrendering. He can't go fulfill that. I will fulfill you. Amadio. <laughs> and Radhika is become expert, and she all expand from Radhika because they have to come mm. in Gopi Bhav, mm. this visual consciousness. Mm to touch even his spiritual mm. How you can touch his spiritual? Who is material? Mm, no. So that is Gopi mm. To 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 touch Krishna, you have to be pure. Are dono my plate? Your tree. <laughs> Thank you, Sally. Yeah, I can go meet Yeah, no, no. Alright, Jack, the Give this. Give this cup. I see my lad, Diago. Go on. Next comes the process. Only in the mind thinking, your lover name, this is Krishna. You do not think that is going, well, uh, uh, modern thing is this Krishna. Sanskrit word, but the lover's thinking of the lover's name is Krishna. Take it like this. It automatic come to you, stop it. Why it coming in your mind? You cannot stop it. That is good. <coughs> First you have to fall in love <coughs> to feel it. This is good. Wow. If you don't fall in love, how you understand Kirtan? Savana? You know, the girl who falls in love with someone and he has to hide 
to show to parents or other what she do when his lover talks are going on she not go there mm-hmm. she hidingly listening from the door what they are talking that means here only want to listen that the the then some past time of the lover or something about him his name even my lover name some my mother is talking maybe bad talking but it looks nice <laughs> that is the one it give relish but to my yeah that is seven and the best song is gopi gita that good is it best song is in 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 bhagavatam is gopi the heart is the soul of the srimad bhagavatam it's a love song <coughs> yeah gopi git benu git and brahmar git three mm. gits are there gopi git mm. benu git mm. and brahmar git mm. <coughs> and if you want to listen uddhav sandesh wah wow. if you want wah wow. take the cd in english of akhandanand ji maharaj akhandanand ji maharaj he will cry like a baby and this is a mayavadi sanyas mayavadi but he is so nice krishna bhakta he become angry to his mayavadi devotee if you don't do krishna bhakta your mind body is useless like this is available gurudev is in this akhandananda ashram akhandananda ashram uddhav sandesh sandesh very detailed history wow many so big book is not in any gaudiya vaishnav book Oh, there's a book over there. Huh? Recording. This is this is oh. this is Rupa Goswami, sir. Is a Uddhav Sandesh. How Uddhav is his message, na? Message. Send, send the message. He how oh, he he is glorifying Brahma Gyan mm. to the Jasoda Maya mm. Nanda Baba, mm. and how they are like a village mm. village man. <laughs> they are discard they are telling what you are talking i know krishna with this way and village way and you will realize if you are brahma gyani that he is so good he speaking hindi or english he is also english translation is there acha so you have to find it out if you get the english is a real nice beautiful explanation wow. of krishna's past time no uddhav huh? uddhav, uddhav how much related with krishna mm. how he is close with krishna how he looks like krishna mm. how he go do with krishna and one day when krishna is sitting and crying in garden wow then he say why you crying he say i'm thinking for go buddha when i is tears is start coming then he say actually you want to teach you dava that gyan is not higher love is higher mm. so he send go and teach them because you are the gyani you are the most knowledgeable 
and then he is moving to the Vrindavan, how his realization comes. So beautiful. Wow. It's unexpected. Everyone has to listen to that. Why that? Brahmagyani is telling that Brahmagyani is useless. <laughs> oh my God! Surprising. Wow. Brahmagyani is telling impersonal knowledge is bogus. Mayavadi is telling this. Wow. That is the. Shankara did the same. Shankara did the same. Sankara said, Maya Vadi is the right. Yeah, but he's leaving, he's placing it. We said to Sankara that, but he's teaching, he still is very bad, but it happened because of the Buddhism. Buddhism is so heavy to bring the impersonal philosophy. They introduce. They do. Because emptiness teaching. Mm. No, nothing. Mm. But this means nothing. Mm. You become dummy. Mm. Not you do everything, but not do talk outside. Mm. There's no way. Mm. <coughs> wow. So beautiful. Wow. He did and said, You forget one thing. In the left feet, he has a two spot, black spot, that you forget to write. So the love makes you to know so details. Where is the spot, where is not a spot, what is the um, hair position, where is the what position. Wow. All details, love, make anything hiding. No. Anything personal, impers impersonal, everything is personal. Mm. I know more than you because I love. And we learn from the book in knowledge. Mm. So we don't know anything. We have to love to know. Mm. If you want to. Right? Yes. Yeah. No, without love. Without personal relation. Mm. Right? Right. <clears throat> and why you want to do with Krishna? Because we want to come out from body okay. And when Krishna sees, oh, he tried for out of body consciousness. But he needs love. Then he needs human. He said, No, go and serve to my Samani. Then he will. Without purity, he will never send to me. Why not we know the Radha Rani? Why not? Because purity is not there. An impure mind is not open for Radhika. When we are conditioned, we are materially attached for this material thing. Opening will not open. Krishna will not open to me. It's not others are not talking. This is the lock by Krishna. Block. Mm -hmm. 
because my mind is not ready to develop a spirituality in my life. Bujacho Andagar Thaki Baba Andakare Thak Andagare Thakte Chai Andagare Bar Jate Parbona Jate Richana So, what do you mean Andakar? Darkness. Oh, darkness. Ah. We want to live in material darkness, ocean of suffering. Mm. That is our. But we cannot hide anything from him. I can hide with you, but how I can hide with Krishna? No. He is sitting in, inside us, <laughs> watching what you are thinking, what you are doing. Yes. All right? Yes. It is difficult. Bahar Asti is difficult. Because we, he, she is asking, how I will come out from the darkness? <laughs> I say, yeah, it is very difficult because who live in a darkness, he don't want to come out to the light. He is enjoying in darkness. If I have no desire, how I will come out? Right. And if I have a desire, sure, nobody can stop it. Mm. <coughs> right or not? And nothing stops desire. Nothing stops desire. No, we can, nothing can stop desire. But if I have no desire, Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Association. What she asked how to have desire? Desire. Yes. So to develop desire, we need Sadhu Sangha. Good prayer association. If not, then more darkness I want to stay. We don't want to go out of darkness, because darkness we can do many nonsense. Nobody will come to see me. But light, Everybody will see me, right? Deep and so amazing. Thank you. The bottom of my heart. Actually, I am trying to say how to live in day to day life. That I want to share it. Because this is the Prem Bhakti Chandra, how to develop day to day life. How to change my sadhak deha behavior, material body behavior, to move for the spiritual thing. This is Prem Bhakti Chandra. What is the blockage? 
We create so many blockages. We cannot come out from that. And why we create the blockages? We don't know. Unknowingly. That is my darkness. This is my darkness. I don't know and I do it. Well, we do only, Prabhupada says, innocent people do behavior of animals. Innocent. Innocent. Innocent means foolish. Animal. <coughs> They do the, uh, the work of foolish, mm. my, my animals way. <laughs> foolish, but intelligent will not behave like animal. Never. But by doing, we involve ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. How to come out? I took, I took. 
ਕਿ ਨਾ ਟਰੂ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮੋਰ ਕੋਲ ਬੈ ਬਾਬਾ ਉਹਦਾ Jessie's question when she said that even when she thinks something then her questions are 